good afternoon from the first day of Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. We're here to experience everything the festival has to offer. Just so you know, the festival is all about arts and artists and beautiful food and beautiful works of art. I'm excited to see everything. <laughs> I think one of the coolest things is that you can actually watch artists create art like yeah. live in front of you here. Yeah. But do you want to get something to eat? I do. Yeah. Let's go do it. I am so happy that all of the construction walls are down around the fountain because it makes this area so much more open and inviting. Whereas the construction walls kind of block the view of Spaceship Earth. Oh, it's yeah. much better now. The pictures are awesome now. Yeah. Like so, so amazing. The, the fountain just looks so cool. I love it. I wish that we had seen it at night though. Oh yeah, one it, day. It like changes color. So first things first, we grabbed our Festival of the Arts passport. And the cool thing about this is that it has the menu from each booth in the World Showcase, which makes it easier to kind of plan your trip around the world and see where do you want to go next? What do you want to eat? All that fun stuff. But it also shows you different entertainment that's offered at the festival. As well as the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And once you collect all five, you get a complimentary culinary treat. Whoa. Yeah, very similar to the cookie stroll or any of these other things that we've done at different festivals throughout the year. So this is where you would put your stickers. Yeah, they put a stamp there. Oh, a stamp, right, okay. Ooh, that's exciting. Are we gonna try to do that today or are we gonna save that for another day? Might save it for another day. Okay. And over here by the partially demolished Innoventions, there is the expression section, a paint by number mural. And you get a little jar of paint and a little paintbrush and you can paint three squares on a mural and, and over time the mural will fill out as guests continue to paint and they're doing it a little bit differently this year as you can see they've got some numbers on the ground here in little paint splatters and they'll give you your cup of paint and say go stand on number seven or number five and you fill in your three squares in that section and then eventually they'll move to the spaces in between just trying to keep some physical distance between parties and here's what the mural will end up looking like once it's all completed Looks like it's gonna be really neat looking. Oh yeah. Oh, the Spaceship Earth's in it. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Looks like Starry Night. In Disney. Yeah. Out here near the Imagination Pavilion, out on the grassy knoll, there's Joy from Inside Out. And this is where her character spot is, where you can see her as they're not doing character meet and greets currently. She picked up a whirly gig too, and she's walking around with it. There are still the photo ops all around Epcot where you can act like you are part of the art. Step to your right a little bit. Oh. There's a picture that says to do this. Show the picture inside. So inside of each photo op, they actually show you how to pose. So if you didn't know how to pose like the Venus, you can do it just like this. I love it. So over here on this construction wall, we have a section called Drawing on Inspiration with two artists, Jimmy Pickering and Morgan Lee Richardson. And they are drawing on the inspiration of different rides around Epcot. So you've got Jimmy Pickering doing Journey into Imagination and Morgan Lee Richardson doing Journey into Imagination. And they even have some rides that are not here anymore like World of Motion, The Living Seas, The Universe of Energy, Horizons. That's yeah, exciting. Really cool. Yeah, I love this. That's awesome. The Land. Oh my goodness, I got goosebumps. Wow. I Spaceship Earth. This is fantastic. Look at this oh, one. Wow, yeah. Oh man. I didn't think I would get goosebumps looking at this art, but I really did. I'm sure you can. I'm sure these two artists are here at the festival. We could probably meet them. So now we have Spaceship Earth at our back. Whereas normally in years past, you would be able to walk right through there and come out here and walk straight out to World Showcase. But now you can't because they're doing all the construction. But I wanted to show you this sign for Festival of the Arts. A little display here that says chalk art leading into the section where there is chalk art. So artists will draw using chalk on the concrete out here. This is like 3D chalk art. So as we're coming up to it, kind of looks like it's 3D. So now we are headed towards the food booths and the first spot is Decadent Delights and it's like an ice cream booth. So it's very cold out right now. So we're not going to get any ice cream, but we are going to try to find some food. Oh, here's the complimentary treat. Oh yeah, you get like a little palette. So this is cookie. for the colorful cuisine trail. The wonderful yeah. walk of colorful cuisine. And here is all of the stuff that you have to buy in order to get the complimentary culinary treat. It's very pretty. I'm excited for Remy's ratatouille. Can't wait to eat some rat ratatouille. <laughs> so we're probably not gonna stop at every booth today, but we are gonna get some food. And then probably by the end of the festival, we will have stopped at every booth. I hope so. Yeah, first stop, deconstructed dish. I think I'm gonna start with dessert. Get the deconstructed strawberry cheesecake. And during the other festivals, this was the Hawaii booth. 
So here's what we got from Deconstructed Dish. We got the Deconstructed Reuben. Which has a rye popover, the corned beef, Gruyere panna cotta, and brined Brussels sprouts in a broken Thousand Island dressing underneath. And then we also got the deconstructed strawberry cheesecake with whipped New York style cheesecake, which is here, it looks delicious, fresh Florida strawberries, and some sugar cookies. So it's almost like a, a nacho in a way. Oh yeah. I like how we got one Brussels sprout. <laughs> I think that's kind of taking the place of the sauerkraut. Yeah. And what was this popover? Right. I mean, it's honestly like looks really good. Here we go. Corned beef. So it's deconstructed. Are you supposed to reconstruct it to eat it? I don't. Or do you just eat parts of it? I kind of always thought that was like an interesting concept because you kind you do have to sort of reconstruct it. I guess with this sort of a style, you can take off whatever you don't like. So if you don't want the Brussels sprouts, you don't have to have the Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, I'm not having the Brussels sprouts in my first bite. Okay. That's fantastic. Like. I think we've always liked this dish and they change it every year too, which is pretty exciting to try it every year. So it's something different. Are you throwing your hat around? Bud, you gotta keep your hat on, you keep your head warm. Buddy, the cast member gave you your very own spork oh, and you're sorry. throwing your hat away. Yeah, the cast member said, look how cute this little buddy is. He needs his own spork. How was the Gruyere panna cotta? Was that weird? No. No? Okay. No, it actually, like, cause I mixed everything together. I didn't try it by itself, so. It just seems like a strange, it just seems strange. Everything kind of melded together. For when you want to eat a Reuben, but you also want to work. <laughs> okay. So the Brussels sprouts smell just like sauerkraut. All right, here we go. This is really good. Yeah, it's delicious, right? I, I do have to say, I would like to try this as an actual sandwich. Oh yeah. It's really, really good, but I think I would like to try it without all of the work. Yeah. And I like each of the components, so putting it all together into a sandwich, I would I would like that. But I also really like this as it is as well. Yeah. It's really delicious. The corned beef is really good. I liked it a lot. I know that corned beef isn't for everybody, but it is for me. I love it. <laughs> so you only get three pieces of sugar cookie, so I feel like we're just gonna kind of divvy this up into thirds and make little nachos. We're what? gonna reconstruct. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start with, with one. Okay, ready? It's pretty delicious. Yeah? The strawberries are not candied, but they're just like so sweet. Good. I love that. Jen's feeding Jackson real quick, so I'm gonna just go ahead and try this. Deconstructed cheesecake. And I'm reconstructing right here. I'm just gonna eat this in one bite right now. That was really good. I didn't actually like the strawberry. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I love so I think I picked the biggest strawberry on the dish. And I think, you know how sometimes if you get a bigger strawberry, it's not as ripe as the smaller strawberries? Yeah, I think that's what it was. It just wasn't as ripe as all the other strawberries. So, I had another strawberry that was smaller, much better. Yeah, this is delicious. I would totally eat this again. Also, there is some form of like jelly striped across the plate. And it's actually sparkly, huh. artful. One thing I wanted to say about Tim Let Me Have the Last Little Piece of the Deconstructed Cheesecake, and one thing I wanted to say is that um, cheesecake doesn't normally have a sugar cookie crust. So this is a little bit different than like a normal cheesecake. Normally it would have like graham cracker. And I love the sugar cookie. Like what a good idea. We should make a cheesecake with a sugar cookie crust. Okay. I, it's so good. I've never made a cheesecake. I love it. So all around World Showcase are these Disney artist galleries. And this is where, where different artists will have their artwork on display for you to buy and sometimes the artist will even be outside of the booth signing their artwork as you buy it. Next stop is over here in Canada at the Masterpiece Kitchen. I think we're gonna get the salmon and the panna cotta. So over by Canada at the Masterpiece Kitchen, we got the... The vanilla and rose water and pistachio panna cotta. They've Ooh. had this in like prior festivals and it always looks very beautiful. And it looks just as beautiful this year. Then I got the salmon and cream gateau, I believe is how you pronounce it. I might be saying that wrong. It's got egg yolk, cream, paddlefish, caviar, and micro herbs with salmon. And then there's like a little chip too. It looks like a little salmon, like piece of cake. So this is gonna be a hard one to cut. 
cut, I think. <laughs> I think oh, so. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's cutting real easy? So I think it was chilled, which helped. Okay. And it's smoked salmon. Okay, so. It is very salty. Oh, okay. Wow. I love salty food. That might be too salty for me. Oh, really? Wow, yeah, it's very, very salty. It's kind of rich, too. So you might, this might be one to share. Okay. I wish you ate fish, so I could give you some. Uh, but you, you would not like this. It's, it's very, very fishy. Oh, no, I don't so like I just, that. Yeah, I don't think you would like it at all. If you like smoked salmon, I think this is one to definitely try. But if you're not a fan of overly salted things, maybe give it a skip. Okay. I'm glad I tried it, though. All right, let's see a cross-section of this rose. Ooh. It has a nice crunch. It has a, a nice shell to it. Ooh. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, so it's very soft on the inside, like the panna cotta, the cream. It looks it looks, uh, it looks, kind of delicious, actually. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting it to have like a candy-coated shell. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything here. I think it's gonna be kind of hard to do. This was sort of a messy one. It's the weirdest combination of flavors. <laughs> it was vanilla, rose, and pistachio. Whatever this is almost tastes like raspberry. There wasn't any raspberry in the description, though. I get... Zero pistachio. Oh, the pistachio is the green stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. It's not, not very much pistachio, though. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, okay. I like that. So all together, it's delicious. Well. We're not bad. I feel like the pistachio adds like a salty flavor to it, and that's what this needs more of. Okay. You'll have to give it a try. It's it's not my favorite. Okay. Well, it definitely doesn't look as pretty when you cut it open and try to eat it. I do not like the rose. Yeah. The rose is not good to me. So is I think that they what made the, this one Is that what the red is? No, the red is it's raspberry. That's very strange. Yeah, the red is raspberry. Um, I think they made this one so beautiful so that you have to buy it because it's so beautiful because they knew that it didn't taste that great. <laughs> I just, I don't like the rose. And maybe that's why they added the raspberries to like try to cut back. Get a lot of the pistachio in a bite. You catch a little salty flavor no. in there? It also gives it like a nice texture because if, there, if that wasn't in there, it's just very mushy. Yeah. Let's give Jackson a little taste. <laughs> Use your words. Oh, he's dancing. Dancing. Oh, do you dancing, like it? Dancing, do you like it? You stop dancing though. Oh, let me give him one more bite. Oh, he was like excited for it. He had his mouth open and everything. Doing a dance? Jackson, I think you love this one. Is I this think... your favorite? So this one is made for babies. Okay. We found out the secret. Wow. Wow, oh, Buddy really likes the rose. Huh. Well. This dessert's for babies. Here's a look at some of the art that they have available. Wow. We actually might buy this one right here. Looks really nice. Wow, I love these too. The style is so cool. It's really neat. All right, we're gonna head into World Showplace really quick, see what kind of food offerings they have in there, maybe check out some of the merch and see what else they have in there. Cause in the book, in the passport, there's only one booth listed for World Showplace. Oh, okay. There's a lot more art in here. This is all Thomas Kincaid over here. Lots and lots of stuff going on. Oh, there's a lot of artists. All right, we're here for festival favorites. We're gonna get the Remy's Ratatouille. Oh, blood orange tart sounds really good too. That's what we're going for is the ratatouille right there. The lemon blood orange tart. That's what I want to get. Well, a cast member just came out and told everybody that there's no more ratatouille for 20 minutes. So I guess we're just going to get the lemon blood orange tart. Yeah, there's our lemon tart. And luck has it that they just brought out the ratatouille. So from World Showplace, we got the lemon blood orange tart and Remy's ratatouille has eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, tomatoes, and red pepper piperade. What is that? I have no idea, but I have to say that this ratatouille is not as beautiful as some of the art that I've seen. Like some of the uh, the promo pictures, you know, for the event. Doesn't look like Remy made it. <laughs> I don't think, I think they outsourced this one. Right? But I, I did also want to mention that it is 100% vegan, just as it is. Oh, that's so nice. So that's pretty exciting, so. Yeah. There you go. Also, um, they ran out while we were in line. Right. So this is something that if you want to try it, tr maybe like go here first to get it. I think so. They run out of it pretty quick, apparently. Yeah. They said we had to wait 20 minutes for it, but as luck had it, yeah. they brought some out as we were waiting in line. So. Actually, right when we were checking out. 
Yeah, they're like, oh, we do have it. And we were like, all right, we'll take yeah. one. All right, let's try this ratatouille. Okay, let me Find get Find out if it's the ratatouille of your dreams. <laughs> okay. So I got a piece of zucchini squash and eggplant with the red pepper sauce. Did it bring you back to your childhood like Remy's did in the movie <laughs> with the guy? Um, you know, it didn't. Um, this really is kind of Blend. a little bit boring. Oh no. It's just kind of like, it just tastes like sauteed vegetables and a red pepper sauce. Oh. I mean, it's nice, but I, I don't... It doesn't bring you back to your childhood in the countryside of France? No, it definitely didn't. Oh. But Jackson likes it, look. Yeah. Well, look at that little ratatouille baby. <laughs> oh, he's drooling on his sweatshirt. Oh, oh, no. Look at that dance. <laughs> he loves it. Okay, let's see. I think this is one of everything. Somebody told me to make sure that I get like the olive oil because that really helps out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so why didn't you like, tell me that? You heard him say it. You were there. Who said it? Somebody else. You still dancing, buddy? All right. I think I've dragged it through everything enough. It needs more salt. That's what I thought. It needed. It was a little bit bland. It needs pepper too. Yeah, it's not super seasoned. But I don't know if that's how it's. Maybe that's how it's supposed to taste. That, I've never. His, his ratatouille just like. It literally just tastes like the elements of it. There's nothing special about it. Like if you really like zucchini, squash, and uh, eggplant. eggplant. And then you can taste the red pepper in the sauce though. Yeah, but like. You know what I'm missing? Okay, so this is a French dish, right? Like, yeah. Right? Okay, I want to go to the France booth. Okay. Because everything on the France booth menu looked delicious. Might have to do that a different day. I know, I'm just saying, that. that's where, this yeah. makes me want to do that. So. Wait, are you <laughs> still dancing, buddy? So here's the thing. What? I think that this was a brave dish for them to do. Why? Because Why it's, brave? Because it's Remy's. Oh. Like it's Remy's Ratatouille. That entire movie culminates in Remy making this dish right. in order to appease the food critic. And it worked. And it worked. But I and think that's that, what I was expecting well, with Remy, Remy's ratatouille. Remy's, a, Remy's dish is a little different. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, no, I do, I do. I if do. you see that Remy, the, the rat of your dreams, <laughs> made this dish <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm going to get it. It's going to be delicious. It's going to transport me back to my childhood on the countryside of France. And it doesn't. Yeah. That's what happens. That's true. You know, it's 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 a totally fine dish. I bet like, you, it, if if we tried the other things in France, that we would be we would be sent back to our childhood in France. I think so. That's what we, we should do. We didn't grow up in France. We should go. But. We should try the, the cheese the cheese bowl. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing the lemon blood orange tart. I have to say, I'm a little bit more excited for this one than for the ratatouille. Now it's that we've had the ratatouille. Very very pretty. Oh wait, show it to me. Oh, all right. What's in there? What's in there? I think it's just. Moose? Moose. Oh, Jackson wants some. No. You don't want to try it? This is good, though. Okay, well, more for mommy and daddy, I guess. This is pretty good. I love blood orange, like anything. So I think this part is the blood orange and this part's the lemon. Yeah. So you try to get the two of them together. Okay. And there's some blueberries on there, too. Mm. Is it tart? Not really, no. Okay. It's pretty good. It's a very like light flavor, but there's still like not a lot of flavor to it. Hmm. I feel like after that ratatouille, I kind of wanted something chocolate for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. Because it was kind of like a heavier dish. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted a heavier dessert. Okay. And this is very light. This is very, and also it's cold today. Yeah. So if it was hot today, I think I'd be like all about this dish. Okay. So this is a very delicious dish, but I think today was the wrong day for me to get it. I'm just not in a blood orange tart day. Well, I am. Kind of so let okay. me try it. I'm going to try a little bit of the lemon first. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, it's like a super light flavor. Yeah. It's like lemon scented. But I think that I really like the flavor of the crust. He only wants blueberries. So what's this? Just white chocolate? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's your chocolate. Oh, what do you think though? I like it a lot. Yeah? I've added some of the blood orange sauce. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was like a blood orange jelly. <laughs> And it's glittery. Ooh. I like that a lot. I would totally order that again. I liked how light and like kind of, um, what's the word? Not like airy, just light because of the mousse or whatever yeah. was inside was very like light. It wasn't a heavy dish. Um, I loved it. 
Yeah. But I love that kind of like like key lime pie. Those very citrusy dishes are my favorite. So. Yeah. And I'm more of a chocolate type peanut butter person. I mean, I also love that. Oh. <laughs> but if this were on the menu and something chocolate or peanut butter was on the menu as well. I think I would try that and you would try the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the Harmonious Barge is doing a little bit of testing today with its, I believe that's going to be like a fountain arm. They're extending it and putting it back in. So every time that we see it, the arm is in a different state. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. We didn't make it too far around World Showcase. So we definitely have plenty more to see the next time that we come. I have so many more things on my list of things to try. Yeah. Uh, I want to look at all of the artist booths. We actually did buy two pieces of art today. So one of them was a, a Cinderella castle Where piece with kind of like brushstroke art with fireworks going off in the background. It's honestly, I just really missed the fireworks and it was such a beautiful piece of art. We had to get it. And then of course we had to get the Marie with the cherry blossoms. I love it. So I don't know if I actually mentioned this in the video yet or not, but we're planning on redoing our guest bedroom to like a Marie theme. So we had to get the Marie with the cherry blossoms. I think it's going to be perfect for that room. Yeah. So all in all, <laughs> it was a fantastic trip out to Festival of the Arts. We're definitely going to be back to try more stuff. I can't wait to come back. But with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. I'm Colby. I'm Dominic. We're, We're from, from Boca Raton, Florida. And now it's and time. And that's time to pay the price.